page 62, Johnny Cage dies? Is someone high? I know, I seem like a clown to you. And I hate clowns. Then do not watch Ninja Mime. Round one, fight! Let's go! Round two, fight! Finish him! Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 augment build video and today I want to go over my one hit augment build for Spawn. So Spawn is really good for one hits to the fact that he deals a lot of damage and after much experimenting I think I finally found what's the best way to get high level damage for his uh, one hit build. Alright, so before I get into the video, all I want to do is ask you guys to hit that like button and subscribe because when you are subscribed and you recommend a video down in the comment section below, I am more likely to do your video or at least do your video sooner. Uh, and it really does help me out, so it's a win-win scenario. And who doesn't like win-win scenarios, especially when you can always unsubscribe if you don't want to be subscribed anymore because this is a completely free process. So let's go ahead and hop right into this build and go over what makes this exactly the one-hit spawn build. So the very first item I've equipped it is level 4 insult to injury. So you'll be utilizing your crushing blows. So having an extra 20% more damage to all of them is extremely helpful. Alright, next I have a level 4 bill of health. So this makes all my attacks deal 100% more damage while I'm at full health. And of course you start each round off at full health. So it's basically giving you 100% damage overall because you're just one hitting your opponent. Next is pure and simple. So my crushing blows have no requirements. However, my fatal blow is disabled. Which you won't be needing a fatal blow due to the fact that you're one hitting your opponent. What this augment really does is make sure your crushing blows have absolutely no requirements. So you can do that uh, with just basically hitting them with your attack that will trigger your crushing blow. Next is level 3 special delivery. So your special attacks deal 30% more damage. This is really good because spawn has some pretty high level um, attacks that do quite a bit of damage. So having an extra 30% uh, added to them is very helpful. Alright, next is Crazy Pain. So I deal 40% more damage, but I take 60% more damage. Which, once again, since we're just one ending them, the only thing that this augment is really giving us is the 40% extra damage. Next is level 3 Brute Strength. So this makes us deal 37.5% more physical damage, which is really good because Spawn does the majority of physical damage, and almost all of his crushing blows deal physical damage as well. So having the extra 37.5% more damage to those crushing blows is very helpful. Alright, so for abilities, I use Blaze of Glory. Blaze of Glory is a really, really good move because of it can also be amplified from a crushing blow, and it just does a ton of damage, uh, which you can probably see in the beginning clip. Next, I have Charging Hellspawn. So Charging Hellspawn is a really good move for continuing combos or anything like that. Uh, I was trying to get some combos off of the spawn, but I, I'm a little rusty with them. If you want to see some combos that I was able to get off, go ahead and check out my um, generic spawn... Uh, augment build which i'll leave in the upper right hand corner of the screen now uh, i wouldn't recommend any type of using your ai behavior just due to the fact that ais can't focus on using one move so uh yeah and once again you're only one hitting them so that kind of takes the fun out of the uh one hit all right so other than that let's go ahead and hop around the towers of time and see how this build does Round one, fight! <laughs> Round two, fight! <laughs> Finish it! My enhanced 
investments be yours. Your words mean nothing to me, rookie. Nobody calls me rookie. Round one. Fight! Let's go! Round two. Fight! Finisher! Spawn wins. Flawless victory. Spawn wins. Flawless victory. 